I give an AGA-sponsored um, state-of-the-art lecture on GI cancer and the gut microbiome. I talked about the gut microbiome and its role in human health and disease. I talked about ongoing research in my lab and others about organisms associated with GI malignancies and focused on the role of fusobacterium in colorectal cancer, which is part of a deep collaboration between my lab and Matthew Meyerson's lab. I think that Dr. Carrot very clearly explained um, an association between um, fusobacterium and colon cancer. Um, I mean, the microbiome and gastrointestinal cell malignancies is a very hot topic, and to be able to explain this so clearly to an audience, I think, that was made up of clinicians and scientists um, was really terrific, and uh, it was a very high-yield talk. I really enjoyed it. I think the most fascinating part was actually the, the basic science that was done in proving sort of the, the mechanism and, and association between fusobacteria and, and colon cancer. I mean, my personal interests are more towards IBD, but as part of my practice in the future as a surgeon, I'll be uh, taking care of colon cancer patients as well. I think the most interesting I found, thing that I found about today's lecture was how she related her findings into the mouse and the human model, showing that the specific bacteria, which everybody has present in their mouth, can be a cause of colorectal cancer. She showed it in the human samples, but then she moved it to a very basic science model showing that yes, in fact, when you do inject these bacteria, it does promote cancer tumorigenesis. Uh, the reason why I wanted to moderate this is because it's a new field um, uh, linking the microbiome to col colorectal neoplasia has been a topic for a while, but no one's been able to uh, actually have um, the right amount of data to suggest uh, that the bacteria are involved in starting um, growth in the colon. GI malignancies unfortunately affect a lot of our patients and the general population both in the U.S. and globally and I think people are very curious about the role of the gut microbiome in that process. Um, interest in the gut microbiome and microbiome in general has really exploded over the last 10 years and I think it's become a hot topic that a lot of people are very interested in. Not only people here at DDW but also the general public as well.